I'm in person with Cal today. Um, wanted to show you these bales. This is hay, hay we've uh, silaged this year off of uh, that crop um, from earlier in the summer. First time we've wrapped and silaged uh, straight hay, so it, it smells like really sweet, this stuff. Um, really moist. There's a lot of plant moisture in there still, and it silaged up really, really well. You can tell it's full of... Uh, full of all the plant nutrients in it still. It's, it smells sweet, it all smells like um, tobacco leaves or something. It's, it's really sweet smelling, so we'll be interesting to see how the bison uh, like it. Um, first time we've been uh, done done hay silage like this, so hopefully the buff will like it and they just eat it up. I'm sure like the standard oats and the other cocktail stuff, so I'm sure they'll like these two. Peppers here bouncing around. Nobody's at the feeder yet, but they're just it's feed day, so they know they're getting some grub, and they're a little, little excited. See here, there's lots of alfalfa blooms and blossoms on it here. Um, you know, it's even still kind of green inside. This the silage process is pretty cool. Lots of lots of good leaves in there. Some of the stuff's a little matured. It's a little later when we did it, but um, yeah, hopefully it turns out alright. So. So I got the heifers done and we're going to put some up for the cows now. Seven, so she was she was pregnant this year according to the vet so if they, she does look like she's got a good belly on her so hopefully she pulls through because she's a beautiful cow she weighed 1700 pounds i think massive cow actually so hopefully she uh, comes through and gives this nice calf on for driving back to the farm here and we were driving through the field and seeing this thing laying on the ground. Pulled up to it and it's a looks like an old carcass of a porcupine. There's his tail and it just like looks like the skin left on him so I don't know what happened to him if he got skinned somehow or and the coyote drug him up or something but maybe it's karma for those uh, for that porcupine that got those feedlot animals a few months ago. 
so you never know what happens. But yeah, we're gonna get it. Uh, it was in the middle, the middle of the fields, and the cows walked by it. So we're gonna just throw it over the fence here, so the so they don't try and sniff it, and any more buffalo get any quills in their nose or anything like that. So we don't have to deal with that. There's a bunch of quills in there. Still, you'd hate for them for them to get into a cow's cow's mouth or something like that. So we'll get her tossed over the fence here, and then we won't have to worry about anything like that happening. <laughs> And there you go, porcupine. There's a few quills in the snow will pick up here, a few tiny little guys. One there, and one there. There. That's all, so. Revenge, revenge on the bison on the porcupine. We got him. <laughs> All right, we'll head her back to shoot. Welcome back to the channel. Um, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Um, got to get, hope you guys got to spend some time with your family and uh, just relax, enjoy, enjoy the holidays. Um, and uh, hopefully we can look forward to a better year. But uh, yeah, you know, I got some time to spend some uh, some quality time with my family and my wife's family. And it was, it was nice just to sit sit back and relax and, and um, you know, enjoy the little things. And, uh, you know, little things like buffalo. I'm out here today. I went and um, I went and um, did a loop around the hay, the uh, one one quarter where they were still grazing in quite a bit. Still had quite a bit of grass there from the fall, so they were they were grazing in it quite a bit still. Um, just because there's not not a lot of snow out yet, so they can still get at it, dig under the snow and get it. But I wanted to get them out of there um, and into some other quarters where the grass is a little, um, you know, it's a little. Uh, older pastures and stuff so I'm not too worried about hurting them as bad um I wanted to get them out of that that one field as uh as I wanted to leave a little bit of litter litter on the ground um for in the spring I didn't want them to chew it all down so I wanted to leave that litter so I can go back in the soil and uh, protect the soil from those um you know windy windy springs we usually get so it doesn't doesn't quite dry it out and it maybe will help preserve some of that moisture and uh you know, make the make the grass grow that much better in the spring when it does start kicking into gear. So I think they're all out of there. I went around, toured the whole field, and then uh, didn't see anything in there. So I closed the gates, and they're all uh, kind of in the front quarter and in the quarter of the north of the of the, of the shop here. Um, into some old pasture and some. This is actually some old cocktail crop in here. There's some old straw and stuff. They're p probably picking through. They're probably finding uh, the odd turnip and stuff. They're probably nibbling on still. Um, but yeah, they're all kind of just milling around and we gave some bales earlier today. They're all kind of milling around. I think, uh, I think these animals are some of our newer ones. We got, uh, some new bred heifers we got from Elk Valley ranches, um, a few weeks ago. Nice, nice, nice looking bred heifers here for sure. We got, uh, 13 of them, uh, we got from them. So they're in that really nice looking group here actually. This 201 here. First time I've really seen them up close like this. They look really, really even. Nice, nice group. Hopefully they can give us some nice, uh, good calves. Um, hopefully we can get some, you know, wean, wean off some 600 pound calves. That'd be pretty nice. We should have. Um, we preg tested everything and got rid of our open ones. And so we should have uh, 120 calves, hopefully. I don't know. We usually lose one or, or so in the spring, or one maybe aborts one, but you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get you know 110 plus. Be nice to even get 100 percent, 120 calves. That'd be pretty cool. Some 
there's some on both sides, some on this side of the fence, some on that side of the fence. They're just, they're not too hungry yet since it's been so nice. They're just kind of picking around and getting what they can. So I think they're going to start to eat a little bit more here now. So we'll have, uh, yeah, we'll have lots of videos, videos of feeding coming along, um, feeding these guys, the calves, the feedlot animals. We got lots of animals to feed throughout the winter, probably around 400, I think, on the farm total, somewhere around there, between the bulls, calves, yearlings, cows, probably close to 400 animals on the farm. So usually every weekend we get together and uh, put out a bunch of bales and cut strings, pull them off, and uh, give them their grubs. So uh, going forward, well, yeah, we'll have lots of lots of content, um, lots of content to bring, guys. But if you guys do have anything. Uh, specific to the farm that you want to see let me know let me know in the comments let me know on uh, Facebook reach out to us on Facebook we got an Instagram account reach us on uh, reach out to us uh, anyway that you know how to and uh, you know I'll, I'll figure out how to put the video together to show you what you guys want to see so here's the cows running out you know heard me coming so they think they're gonna get trapped up there big group of them here Yeah, these animals look really nice though. Yeah, they've sure been getting good good feed. They all look really healthy. Their coats are shiny. They don't look too fat. Their metabolism does start to slow down though this time of year, so they, just, they do start to eat a little less. Um, but yeah, no, overall they're looking really healthy. Come through there. <laughs> There's D69. She's always friendly. Always like to come up and sniff you while you're putting the bale out. They're being sneak by these guys here. Put a few more bales out from last week. We're starting a little bit more, so five feeders there we can put four in a feeder, so about 20, 20 bales in those feeders, they'll they'll have that all gone probably by the end of the next weekend. And those feeders really help us reduce the waste too. They don't they can't roll them all over. Um, since they're in those feeders, they can't, you know, roll them all over, bust them up, and then they end up wasting them and lay on them and pooping and peeing on them. They just kind of sit in those feeders and they eat them, and they don't really waste a whole bunch. So it's really helped our uh, our consumption of them, of the bales too. They don't they don't waste a, a lot. So we're happy with those feeders. I'll show you a little bit more of those uh, in the next video. But yeah. Lots of action to come throughout the uh, through the winter here. I'll bring you uh, bring everything I can. Anyway, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed that little video. We got a lot more to come. Um, the New Year's, I got a lot of stuff planned. A lot, a lot of uh, a lot of cool things we want to do on the farm next year. Um, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a big year next year. So I hope uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, let me know down in the comments um, if you do. Um, yeah, and uh, if you guys got any ideas for content you like to see specifically things on the farm you want to see, let me know. I'll do my best to see what I can do, put together uh, a video for you guys. So, um, yeah, other than that, um, we're just going to do some feeding. Um, you know, not, not a whole lot else going on. I think there's another sale um, in March. The Alberta Association um, is putting on another uh, sale. It's going to be virtually this year. Same kind of idea as the Canadian Buyers Association sale was um, this year. Um, Jack Oxford Group is going to do sale for that online virtually again. Um, so 
we may put an animal into that one. Um, we'll see. I know we do have a couple good bulls um, in the yearling group over here that uh, we may want to put in, or maybe we got a nice heifer or something, but uh, we'll have to maybe do some more thinking on that and uh, maybe see if we want to do that um, in March, I think, is the sale. So, But um, in the new year, I know um, I do have a big announcement I want to make in the new year. Um, you guys getting, should be excited for that, so stay tuned for that. Got to do a bit more planning for it, but uh, stay tuned in the new year. I'm going to have an um, um, announcement. should like it, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, uh, so yeah, until next time, I guess, just uh, stay, uh, stay tuned and uh, keep watching for some uh, exciting things to happen. Again, if you guys haven't done so already, please subscribe down below, hit that like button, share with all your family, friends, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya. Thank you.